No woman don't cry. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's your boy Calypso. Um, come with me and let's do some tests together. I want to test my alkalinity in both systems, and at the same time, we're gonna transfer finally the yellow tank to the frag tank. It is about time, man. It's about time he's getting so huge, and it's time for him to go over there. So, like I say in the last video, I was gonna wait until um, I set up the other tank so I don't have to, you know, be moving around. But nah, it's time. I'm gonna move it now and got him to the frag tank for now. And then I guess, you know, we move on again when we set up the 40. All right, so let's do some tests together, shall we? Uh, we're gonna be testing only a Kalindity. That's what I test most of the time. So I already collected the water, so let's do some testing. All right. So like I say, I always test both tanks at the same time lately. I've been having problem with um, with the frag tank that is consuming alkalinity like crazy. So I had to dose a little, or I had to dose it more than the um, Twin Cities because the Twin City, I add the cut water to the ATO and that's how I keep the alkalinity in check. But over there, I gotta be dosing some buffer for the alkalinity. So here, what we got is our alkalinity DKH um, checker. And this is the Twin Cities and this is the frag tank so what i do is make sure there's no bubbles in here i clean the bottle just give a little clean open this no you gotta press sorry now you put the first one and then go ahead then I always give a little quick check to this too. Make sure it's nothing is settling in the bottom. Then we come here. I grab first, then I let go. Make sure I'm gonna grab exactly one mil. I know a lot of you guys know how to do this, so. So, we got one mil here. And it's ready. So remove that, open it. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, I do this every other day. I like to test my alkalinity in both tanks because I like to keep track of that. It's, it's for me, like I said, it's the, one of the most important ones. So I, I mostly do it um, every other day just to make sure. I don't get no big drops, you know. So now, the moment of truth, how the Twin Cities are doing, and while we wait, I'm gonna fill the other one up. So, same thing. And I keep a lot of alkalinity um, things around the reagent, so. So we are at 7.9, a little bit lower than what I like to be, but I know exactly what I gotta do. Um, just to, but you see, if it was the frag tank, it would have dropped to 7.1. Yesterday was 8.0, so I mean not yesterday, the day before yesterday, so only dropped one. So that ain't bad. Now the fragging's time, I tested it. The same day and the frag tank was a 7.4 I dose 10 mils of alkalinity uh, because I don't like to you know bump it up too fast and now we about to see where we at all right so I put this to the side and this is the Frankenstein so same thing I clean the bottle close this set it up C1 is ready. Boom. Drop it in. So we're probably gonna be at the same, I will say, of the Twin Cities because I didn't dose the Twin Cities. I only dosed the Fragenstein. So we'll see now. 
So boom, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They say to do it like six times or five times. I'll do it always seven. This one I will say is about the same. 7.9, 7.8, we'll see. Or maybe a little higher. It's like those. Oh, look at that, 7.6, you see? So, hmm. yep. So I, I definitely gotta set up my doser on the frag tank because it's consuming alkalinity like crazy. So I'm pretty sure once I put that doser and keep that alkalinity stable, we're gonna get faster growth. And yeah, things are growing over there really fast. So not bad though, 7.6. Like I say, I like to see a little bit higher. So now I'm gonna dose 10 mils again and do the test again tomorrow to make sure we in the okay range not too low i don't like to be in the sevens for me in the seven is really too low it's risky especially for the fracting since the fracting be doing those big drops so yeah so now that the test is done i put things away so now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna bring you guys with me. So while I dose the tank, and I'm gonna show you guys. So let me get you guys out of the tripod here right quick. Sorry. And let's move over here. So I'm been dosing this one lately. This is, this is the one I've been dosing. So lick quick calcium reactor so they say you gotta shake it really good it do buff your alkalinity so what I'm gonna do is I gotta test my calcium I'm gonna test tomorrow I'm not gonna test today but I got alkalinity also here so you see I'm not playing around with alkalinity because it drops a lot so I'm gonna put you guys right here real quick you guys probably not gonna see but let me prepare 10 mils of this stuff right here so 10 mils ten mils so boom I always dump it in the sump then I'm gonna add five of the calcium just in case Probably a little bit too much, but we'll see. So, just five. This one is a little bit stronger. So, uh, excuse me if you guys can see right now. So, I'm gonna do to the Twin Cities, I'm gonna do just 10 mils of alkalinity. And couple drops of the calcium reactor thingy liquid here and that's it let me clean this up so and this is my solution for sorry for the twin cities and boom, we dump that in the sub there and now it's coming out through here yeah that's alkalinity is kind of strong so though i mean the calcium reactor buffer is really strong so i'm gonna wait a little more and then we're gonna proceed and grab mr yellow here and we're gonna bring them to the frag tank i'm sure you guys how things are here yeah he's getting huge so it's time for me um to move him over there all right so just give me a sec and we proceed to the food. 